Hey everybody, this is Chris Ritter with the PPI Group, and I'm just going to do a quick little video how to of how to use the eTransmit for Autodesk Revit, uh, which essentially packages up all your files uh, for several different uses, which I'll cover in a little bit. So after you download the add in from the subscription.autodesk.com site, um, it will come in under your add ins tab. And first off, you want to close all your files. Under the add-ins tab, there's a transmit model right there. Click on that. And so it gives you a couple options. Let's just start off at the very top. Uh, select the Revit model. You're just going to browse to your model and select it. I just have a little sample project right here. And I'm going to save that model to a transmitted folder on my C drive. Uh, you probably want to make a standard, firm standard, where you want these files to go and standardize the process if you haven't done so already. We're going to include some transmittal and error reports. So it's going to tell you if it's missing files. We're going to include the linked Revit files, CAD links. If you're still using CAD links, please don't use a lot of CAD links. Uh, DDF markups, external keynote file, and some decal image files. You can also include other files, PDFs, docs, specs, whatever you want. I mean, hit cancel on that one. Uh, you can also upgrade and clean up. So clean up uh, pre-2015 models that will be upgraded. So you might want to be aware of that. Disable work sets, purge unused. Uh, this is my favorite one right here. Just include the views on the sheets and the sheets. Or you could remove all sheets but include different types of views. We're just going to kind of keep it simple here. I also want to save these settings for the next time I use eTransmit. So I'm going to double check right there and I'm just going to click transmit. I say go through and collect all those files and it's going to put it in a folder with the uh, name and date of the file. Um, I guess the date of when you transmitted. And so a couple uses for this is you can use it for internal archiving, uh, sending those files to clients, uh, exchange models between consultants and partners, just clean up the model, um, sharing the model between disciplines, and even uh, just upgrading the whole project. So wait a couple minutes. Obviously it's going to take a couple minutes if it's upgrading or cleaning up those files. Um, the more files, the more cleanup, the more upgrades, the longer it's going to take. All right, that's going to give you an option to um, open the folder where you saved that model. So let's take a look at that. So what that did was that put this file in that folder right there. So name of the project and the date you performed the e-transmit. There's the keynotes. There's the links. Here's a transmittal report, a text file. Let's open that up real fast. on that. So it's going to tell you if it's missing some files. So these were excluded from the files at JPEG, that decal. Um, gives you a nice little report. And that's the basics of it. So download, have fun, look at the help file. It has lots of information. So if you haven't uh, created a process or a standard uh, document for your internal archiving or using eTransmit, I encourage you to do so. Thank you so much.